Hey, welcome back. This is Lunatic Loomer, and we're on to the part two of two tutorial of the Easter bunny and a carrot suit. And now we're going to be working with making the hat, his whole face and his little body. And then afterwards, we'll be detaching the eyes. And I'll show you how to make the nose through the tutorial, how to connect this uh, stem, the ears, the hands, the feet, and of course this little fluffy bunny tail. So let's all get started on this. So we're going to start with the orange band that I have. I keep here in a, in a baggie. I have this um, Oreo thing that you can use for rubber bands. I put a couple of drops in it and just uh, keep the bag closed at all times and just you know, mess with it and um, keep it moist. So that's how I keep my band from cracking and things like that. So I'm just going to pull out a a few of the um, rubber bands to get started with the hat. Oh, I have some extra stuff in it. Move those out of the way. Okay. So here we go. Now the hat we're going to do. First thing to do is we're going to have a magic ring of six. Okay, so you're going to do six magic ring, magic ring of six, I'm sorry. So you'll need one of these little things or whatever that you use for your stitch marker. So I have one of them things that look like a baby diaper pen. So we get a band here. I wrap it around twice. Put this in here. We'll be doing a magic ring of six. One, two, three. Four, five, oh, came apart here, and the last one, six. Okay, so we'll put our stitch marker right there, and the next one. It's going to be a two single crochet and then an increase. We're doing two single crochet and an increase all the way around. That's our <coughs> row number two. Here's my first stitch, single crochet. Then the second stitch, another single. Then in your third stitch, you're going to make it an increase. Then you do that one more time. You're going to get two single crochet and an increase. Oh, 
on that last band with two two bands in one loop as an increase. Okay, now we put our stitch marker on that. And we should have already eight on there. Now we're gonna do single crochet all the way around eight times. We're gonna be doing it twice. I mean four times two singles in crate. So on each loop, it's going to be two, uh, an increase on each loop. Now I'm on my second one. Do an increase on that one as well. So we're doing increases on each stitch all the way around. Okay, so the next round is single increase and, I mean, I'm sorry to get back, single crochet and then an increase. You'll be doing that all the way around the rest of the way. Single increase, single increase, single increase, single increase, single increase, all the way up to your hook. Okay? And I'll get back with you with the next round. Okay, so now... We're done with that row. We should have 24. And I've counted 24 already up to here. Our next round will be two single crochet and an increase all the way around to your hook. Okay, so with two single crochet is one. Two, and then the third loop will be my increase. I'm going to put two in one stitch. Alright, so you can do the rest of the way around. Two single crochet and an increase all the way around to your hook 
Okay, so now we should have 32 on our on that row. Okay? So now the next one we're going to be doing 32 single crochet. 32 all the way around. But at first we will be doing inside the loop. Okay? You're not going to go through both both loop. You're only going to go to the first loop, inside loop, like that, right on the inside. Okay, you're going to be doing 32 single crochet, like that. Next, go inside the loop. I'll have to put more lighting on my thing so y'all can see. Pretty dark. So I'm going inside the loop. Okay? 32 single crochet all the way around. So you go inside the loop all the way around. And get back with you. Okay, so now we're back and it should look like this when you're done. With the 32 single crochet all around inside the loop. So it will look like this. See? It's inside the loop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing five more rows of 32 single crochet. So, but this time it's back to the regular stitching. We're not doing the inside loop anymore, okay? It's going, we're going to be going through both loops, back to the regular stitch of the way we normally do it. So we're doing single crochet, 32 single crochet, all the way around, regular stitch. You're going through both, you're going to go both loops, okay? Alright, so be aware of that. So we're back to the regular stitching. So, we do... Five round, 32 single crochet, and I'll get back with you. Okay, so now we're finished with the five rows of 32 single crochet. Right? And this is what it should look like. Like a little bowl. Okay? So when we're done with that, this is when you went inside the loop to make it start coming downward. So, it's important that you've done that inside the loop on that first round, and then the rest of the wave of regular stitches, back to the normal way of stitches. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, we're going to go ahead and um, put away the orange rubber band for later, because we'll be doing the bottom part of the carrot. So that, right now, we were just doing the hat, the top. Carrot top. Okay, so let's just put this on the side. And these are my glow in the dark. The glow in the dark rubber band. They glow. So, we're, I'm using these for the rabbit. So, we'll just pull out a good amount of band, like a good old two handful. Okay, because we're going to be working with a lot of white. So we'll put that to the side. Okay. And our first row, we are going to be doing two single crochets of the bunny. You know, we're going to be adding his uh, face on the carrot top. So for now, if you want him to just to have go the way like this, the way you, you've been doing, you'd be doing single crochet like this. Without all the way around. But if you want the fluffy, if you want it to be fluffy for his face, you would have to use an extra white band in order to do that okay so I'm taking that out 
because I'm going to do the fluffy kind. So what I did is I just put in this, um, because it's out of the way. I just put it to the loo here. Can I get a band? And I just double loop that just like that. Hold it down with your finger. Get another band and pull through here and through there. Come up and then just pull all the way out the neck too. Same thing. You're going to be doing two rows of single crochet. Two rows all the way around. 32 single crochet. So what, just don't forget, you're just adding an extra band of each round of your single crochet. 32 times. You just put an extra one of these and hold on to these two. Make it easier to pull all the way out. And come back and then pull out the rest of the way. Again, just put these two around, pull this up together, hold it down, I'm holding it down there, like that, then I pull out through both of them, and come out to the next row, see? One more time, I'll do it again. Go through the two loops here, right? Get the extra band, loop it around twice, pull them together, put them together, and you get the next band. Just pull all the way out, and then loop it up there to the top, pull out one more time. You're doing that all the way around 32 times, but you're going to do it two rows of 32 single crochet with an extra band. Okay, so I'll get back with you when you're done. Alright, so now we have already done the two rows of 32 single crochet with the curlies. That's what I'm working on. Okay, so our next round is going to be three single crochet and one increase. Okay, so it's going to be three single crochet and an increase. So, so my first stitch is going to be this one right here. It's going to be a single crochet. We'll grab a band like we've been doing or whatever you're doing and then we're grabbing these two. We do double loop that. Hold that down. And then you're grabbing these two here. There'll be four little strain strand and just pull on right through all four little things here sorry off the camera and then you just pull all the way through again it'll be three single crochet and an increase so I'm on my second one I double loop it like this put it together Grab my second band, pull all the way out, come up, and pull through there. And my third single crochet, double loop that, and then grab these together, like that, hold it down, grab the next band, and pull through here, and pull out again. Now, on the third, third one, I say the fourth one, sorry, it will be an, an increase. I'm going to do it two times under one strand. 
So you get an extra band, loop it, hold that down, and pull through here. Like that. Take that back. Now do that again. There we go. We're just making an increase on this one round, on this one strand. Take this and just pull all the way out. And then do it again. Move it over a little bit. That through there. Loop it one time around. And, and that will be your increase. So you do that all the way around, okay? It'll be three single crochet. And then you're doing an increase afterwards. You do that all the way around. And when you get through with that round, you should have 40, 40 um, band on that row when you're done. You should have 40. So I'll see you back then. Okay, so now we're back. And we had done the three single crochet and the de uh, increase. Three single crochet and increase. Which will give you 40 on this on this last round. Will give you 40 uh, on this round. Now the next round, what we're gonna do is okay. So we are done with that row with the three single crochet. And an increase going all the way around. That will give you 40 on this row. You should have 40, okay? So we're done with the, um, for that row. Now we're going to be doing four more rows of 40 single crochet. So we're doing four rows of single crochet. Four rows. Of 40 single crochet. Okay, so y'all understand what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing four rows. One, two, three, four. Of 40 single crochet. All the way around. Okay, when y'all are done with that, I'll give you the next row. Alrighty, now... We had just got through doing the four rows of single, of 40 single crochet, okay? We did the four rows of single crochet, 40 single crochet. So, we are done. So, this is the way it should look by now. It's getting, now it's going to go down to the decrease, okay? So, we're going to go down one. So, here we go. The next row we're going to do is the two single crochet and a decrease. I'll show you how to do the decrease. Follow along on the first three times I'm going to show you how to do the decrease. <laughs> because for the people who are not using the curl and they just want to do straight up um, just plain single crochet and not use an extra band. You have to do this decrease. If not, you're going to start getting a bunch of knots. You know, like a lot of little knots in it. When you get through, it won't look good. So, this have to do a decrease exactly the way I show you. Okay. So, and then it's going to go down to 30. When you get through that row, it's going to be 30 bands on that row. Okay. So, I'm going to do a, a head start. When we, when you all get through with this... Then y'all do three more rows of single crochet of 30. Okay, so basically you're going to be doing four rows. So right now I'm just going to do this here. And then y'all do this. 
and then I'll be back when all this is done. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I do the decreases so it doesn't look too bad. With the curls, you can't tell. But if you don't do the curls, like I said, you have to do this decrease. Otherwise, it'll look kind of ugly. Okay? All right. Let me put this on the side. And uh, grab this hook. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So, like I said, it was going to be two, two single crochet and a decrease. We're stuck with a half a rubber band. Uh, de <laughs> decrease. That's my decrease. Okay, that's my sign. So it's two single and a decrease. So basically, I'm doing the curls and I put an extra band. And I'm going to do two single crochet. Get back up there. Alrighty. Then I'm going to do another one. Just add an extra band. Then I'm going to do a de I mean a single crochet. Now, the decrease. This is the way to do it. I couldn't tell which way I went in. Get out of it. I go from under. And then I go back under again. See, that the decrease the way I do it. I grab an extra band for the curly. Then what I do is I have to pull down all of that. All of that. Where did that? Right here. I have to pull all of that. All the way in. Come back up. So that's the decrease. So again, I'm going to do two single crochet like this. Put that on there. Hold that down. Grab these two. All right. Now we're going to do the decrease again. I go and I go all the way through and and do that. Just like that. Get this. Pull all of this here. So when we get this band, we pull down. Far to go. Come up and pull out. And one more time. I'm going to do the single crochet. Two single crochet. Like that. I'm going to show you the decrease again. Pull this back. These two here. In and in again. Then you get the band, extra band for the curl. Pull this here, pull down, pull all the way down. Pull up. That's the way you do it. So we'd be basically doing two single and one decrease all the way around to your stitch marker there. Okay, and then you be that'll be 30 rows when you're done. And then you do three rows of single crochet, 30 single crochet. Alright, so you're gonna be doing four rounds, four rows before I get back with you. Okay, again, let me just show it to you. That's two single crochet and a decrease that you're working with, which equals 30 left. And then you just do, do three rows of 30 single crochet, like that. And we'll get back with you.
Okay, so we are back from doing what I was saying to make the three rows of 30 single crochet. And it should be already looking like this. And you got a big, a, whole, a big, big hole. So it's ready to be stuck, but not just yet. We have to put in the eyes. And I'm going to show you how to make this nose. And then we have to put in the carrot top. Put it on the top. We need to have it open so we can put it in there. So now let me show you how I uh, put in the eyes. And you need some orange rubber band. Okay, for the carrot top when we put that together. But for now, I had... Here's a little orange marker on this end of the other end of that. The reason is because during the tutorial, when we start doing the stitches up in front, sometimes, depend on everyone else's, they might have be able to have, um, some may be able to have a smooth front, you see? And mine's all smooth all the way around. But I notice sometimes, you know, some people have a difficulty of, you know, making it nice and smooth. Don't get me wrong. We all have our mistakes. But I have um, shown how I do my decreases where it can come out looking like that real nice. Okay. So it's just a certain way you do your decreases on certain things that you're making. Okay. But the reason why it has such a real smooth front... Yeah, I might have had a couple of little bumps, you know, like there was one messed up a little bit. That was on the back of the bunny. The only reason how that had happened is because I let, I put the eyes on the other side that was, that was going to be on the front side. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, so you see where your stitch marker is? So what I want you to do, since there's 30 on this row... Divided by 2, that's going to be 15. So I want you to count 15 back from where your stitch marker is. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. On the 15th stitch, you need to mark it with any color band you want, okay? It's orange because I took some orange out. So, but anyway, so I have it like that to measure where I want to put my eyes, okay? You can use any color eyes. Um, I'm not sure how big these are. I think it's probably a, it's a pretty big eyeball, you know, it's pretty big. Um, mm, I don't know the diameters on, on, on the eyes. I just use what I like, you know, which is best for a uh, a bigger thing, you use a bigger eyeball. So, like I said, I don't know what size this is. Maybe a nine. I'm not sure. What I always do is I always pop them in first. Leave this much gap there on it. And I pop them in. Sometimes you have problems popping them in. I usually get a real, real small scissors, a pair of scissors. And then I'll kind of like go in the, in the hole. And I'll turn it around and around to make it bigger. So that way you can be able to pop it in easier instead of trying to... <clears throat> you know, I know everybody has that problem. They be pushing it, pushing it, trying to pop it in. But if you just get a pair of little small scissors, if you have any, or something, a pen or a pencil or something, that you can go into the hole of these little white things. And you just go in there and push down into it and turn it around and around like this. And then you make it a little wider and it makes it easier to pop on just like that. See? So that's one of my, um, what do you call it? Trick, right? Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to put these two eyes in evenly. Okay. There. Perfect. Now, what you do is you get this thing here where the 15th inch, I want you to Fold it, get these here from here to here. I want you to fold it in half inward. Fold it in half. Like you got to push in. 
and then come down straight down put it in the middle where your stitch marker is put it in the middle fold back some all the way till you can see this okay but make sure it's in the middle right to you all right so that's what it is you see the end of it where the orange and the white is okay now we have this folded down so oh okay where is my thing now from here from the eyes since there's so many curls I can't show it to you from the outside so I have to do it from the back so what I want you to do is you get your little orange your little uh, wherever you have go push it down here in the middle pull it down that way you know that's the center see that that's your center for this so what what I want you to do is you count four up you're going one one the four bowls you can see it one two three four now I found the middle of my fourth row up so what I do I keep it folded down I would count this is my middle one two three see the third hole this is where I'm going to put the eye see, I pull it out like this on the other end what you what you're going to do when you get your thumb get your finger I mean and hold it up like this keep your eye wait where it's at see and then what I do that is the easiest way I put mine on. I always have it ready. And all I got to do is put it through the socket. And there it is. See? See how easy that was? Just put it right through. So now we go back. Find our center again. Which is right here. <clears throat> Find it flat. See how it goes? Real flat. There's one, okay, that's one, two, three. That was our center right here. So that's the center, and then I'm going to go one, one, two, three. That's my center. That's my next place where I'm going to put my eye at. So make sure it's all in the middle. See how it's done? So I put this out a little bit. So I put my finger right on top of this. I hold it onto it with my thumb back and forth, and I know that's my center. See, right in there, put this over. That's my center of my next eye. All I do is just pop it right there where you see your finger, pop it on through, and it makes it even eye. Or if you want, if it too, if you think it. I think that's the perfect, that's perfect. It doesn't need to go any wider or anything. That's just the perfect way. By folding it in half, you can look at it. Because we're going to put a nose, a little nose there. So that makes it even. So try to make it in the middle, three across or four. It depends on you. And same way on the other side, three or the fourth hole. Either one, okay? So now that's that for the um, eye. Now I'm going to show you how I make the nose for the bunny. So we set that on the side and I wasn't prepared so I got to find some pink rubber bands. I'm going to pause. Okay, I paused the video. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I had to look for my pink rubber band. I guess I wasn't prepared. I don't know how many I'm going to take out, but I think you only need about 20 or 25, I think. I'm not so sure, but we'll just do it from there. Put all these rubber bands up here. So we'll work with the pink one. Now, what we do with the pink nose, we're going to make eight... Um, magic ring of eight, okay? So, I'm going to get, grab another one of these little things here that I use for my stitch marker. 
and make it easier for me to work with my magic ring. So I'm just checking, moving the camera, just to make sure that y'all can see this. All right, so I'm going to slip this on here. All right, and I'm going to make eight single, eight, you know, of the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So, you can pause the video and make your eight set for your magic ring. So, that's what we're going to do with the bunny. Like this. Okay, this is my eighth one. So, magic ring of eight. Here we go. There it is. Now, you see, now we don't need this right now for the moment. You see, we'll go ahead and put it on this one. Now, Take a good look and watch. I'll do it two, three times so you'll know what I'm doing. Take this if in front of you, put it in front, and you're gonna turn it over this way. Get it? Flip over. Alright? You're just you're just flipping it around. There. I did it in slow motion. I hope that y'all understood. Okay, because we are going to go backwards on the other way around. We're not going to go this way, but we're going to turn it and go back the other direction. And we're going to end up making seven single crochet. So let me all the way around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're just doing the same thing. Make sure that you put it on every stitch. We're just making seven single crochet. I'm used to doing it pretty fast, but when I do it slow, I mess up. But I want to make sure that y'all are seeing what I'm doing with this little nose. So I'm just doing it pretty slow. It's weird. It's the other way around. If you do things fast, you mess up. But I don't know what it is. But when you do things slow to slope to show someone something, you end up messing up all the time. That's weird. All right. I'm on to my last. On my seventh stitch. Okay. Now what we do is that we go ahead. You see where the stitch marker is? Just go ahead and take that out. Because we're going to tie them together. See that little, uh, when you took out that, see that little hole? The next one over. That's where you want to put your stitch through. You want to put your hook right through there. And you take this stitch, uh, not stitch, but a rubber band, and you pull it all the way out and then tie it. Okay? So that makes the nose for the rabbit. <laughs> Keep pulling it real tight. That's the nose. Okay, so you see it curled up in the back. You want to put the band, that's the remaining of that band up there. You want to go ahead and grab it anywhere on the bottom 
and just, just pull out for now. Okay, so it's kind of like a little heart in a way. Okay, so now we get four little four little bands, I believe. Two bands. To take that back. You need two bands for this. Alright. So what we're going to do if this is the middle right here. Count one, two. That's the second stitch. So in the second stitch, slide your hook through there. Get this here. Pull through here. And tie it. As tight as you can. Okay. Same way over here. On this side. Turn it a little bit if you have to. There's one, two. That's the second one. Just slide it through the front or back. Doesn't matter. Because we're just adding an extra band on the outside for the whiskers. And then we pull as tight as we can. Use your finger down here. Okay. Now just leave it like that. Don't worry about anything else. Alright. Now, or you can just get this in and cut it, but I'll wait till last. Now, this here, see how it looks here? This is your middle. You're going to put Uh, I'll tell you what. Take that where I told you to tie it. Leave that out. So I think we better do this. We better go ahead and cut it so it won't confuse us. You know, be too confusing. So, cut this whisker. That's the whisker. Okay, you can put an extra one on here if you want. Make Put two on one hole and make more whiskers if you want. But I just went with the simple... You know, two little whiskers. But you can add more if you want. Okay, where I had told you to put, tuck it under, and back here in the back, don't worry about it. Take it out, because we're going to be needing to use this onto the bunny. Okay, so here you go. We're going to place this right in the middle. Find your, wait, hang on. Find your middle from here. I say that's my middle there. Okay, I'm going to stick my hook through here in the middle. Just like that. I found the middle on the tip of the on the tip of that where the rubber band was. I'm going to take this band I'm going to pull through I'm going to pull through like that. See? Then what you do is kind of fold this down. Pull this up a little bit. Fold this down a little. I think that's my middle, I hope. Oops, I lost it. Take this band back. So we find the middle, you see? I'm just trying my best to do it. Put it in the middle. Straighten it. Make sure that's in the middle. You know, you gotta play with this thing for a minute. Okay. Start over. Now we're placing it in the middle. Like that. Right about there. Last time it moved. So I'm gonna try my best again. I'm gonna flip this over a little, okay? Don't get confused here. I'm just flipping it over. Trying to get my hand to where I can get that node to stay there so it won't move. I'm going to slide my hook through here. I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull down through the hole. Okay. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to come back up on the other end of this. I'm trying to go through this little hole right here. This is where I want my hook to go. So I make it flat down. 
go look underneath to where you want it, probably two down or three, and put it through here, see? That way you can tie the nose down. And you take this rubber band, you want to pull through all the way out, like this. Okay, come back up again. Get this piece right here. Get your rubber band again. And wait a minute. See what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to loop it around after I put it through here. I'm trying to take this band here. And pull over down and, and loop it to the back. You should have two on your stitch. If you don't get it, uh, just rewind it a little bit and try to follow it. But that's the way that I place the nose on there. You might have a different way of doing it. But that's how I did it. And I get this. Get this in the back. And put it behind another piece of a rubber band on the back. Get another one of these. And you just pull all the way through. Come up like that. And then you tie it. Tie it real tight. You could do it again if you want. To make sure that the, it doesn't come apart. Just to check. Just to, be, just to make sure. Okay. So now I have that. So you can just go ahead and grab anything in the back and pull through. And there you have it. This little node in the front. I think I centered it. Yeah, I did. And so here are his whiskers. Now, most of you might want to make it a little smiley, but we have to do a couple of more, a couple of more stitches, so we can just let the smile come out, or you could just, I'm not sure yet, I will get back with you on that part, alright, but for now, let's get the, this, on to here, now this is going to be very tricky, you have to watch, see I have the band around this to hold it together, so they don't flop around while I'm working, putting on this um, stem on top of the carrot. Remember, we did the six magic rings. Okay, so what we're going to do is you need to stick it on the outside of the magic ring. You get your hook. Get your hook, right? Right there. Just right in where the magic ring is. I have the hook on the outside of it. On the outside. If y'all can see. Now what I do is. I am going to be attaching on the bottom row. Of the stem. Onto the carrot. To pull out to get more support. To let it stand up in the air. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and slide these pink ones over. Bring down some of the orange ones that I need. I'm not sure how many. I didn't count it. Sorry. But we get this. And you go to your first stitch. Do you see it? You will see it when you see it. Go through here. I'm going to the bottom. I keep getting into the other one. There. I'm trying to get it in there on the bottom stitch. Okay? See that? What I'm doing? Okay. So I get an orange band. I pull through here. And I'm going to pull out like this. 
holding on to the stitch, I'm going to pull out Uh, it's a little, it's a little tricky here. I'm gonna have to show y'all. This is really difficult. It's the most difficult one that you have to do on this tutorial. You want to get your magic ring where you thought it, and grab a piece of that on the bottom. Okay. Now, um, I better tell y'all to double loop that. No, maybe just a second. It's been about two years since I haven't done this rabbit. Oh, okay, let's just try two because we need more support. So let's just put two bands of the yarn. Pull this up, pull out, and pull through here. We need to pull it through the bottom. like that. Now, you see, you can see your magic ring on the bottom. I pulled it out. Now I want to go to the next. I'll put that in there. This is the magic, my magic ring right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the next hole, come up again, and Pull through. We'll come up through here. I'm going to pull out. Now that hole, that pulled it through. Okay. So you get this. Another orange band. And pull out. Okay. And come up like this. We got that done. Now what we're going to do is go around to the next one. See the thick stitch? You'll see it when you do it. Go over to the next hole where your six, uh, magic ring is. And this time we had place one. This one, since it's only six and there's ten of these, and there's only six in the magic ring. So what we're going to do is we've got to grab the last part of this, this here and grab one more grab one more okay of one of the strands you're gonna put two strands we have to do it that way to keep the the carrot to stand up straight let's grab two more of these okay put it onto your hook try to grab on hold on your that stalk and then come through like this and then pull the rest of it out to the back okay of course there's one there you take this one band I think he's moving around here okay I'm using a TV tray and you take this pull out okay Again, we're going to grab two more stalks. So we're going around and around in circles to, around your magic ring. So we go over to the next one, anywhere in the circle. Mainly, you can go just about anywhere, but you want to keep it in the middle. See? So anyways, I'm going to go over to the next. Come up. Come up this way. You can see how it's coming along. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the bottom of this one and then get your next stalk and grab the bottom of that one. See, I have these two together, these two uh, pieces here together. Okay. We'll get, we're going to grab two more bands like this. Hold it up. Pull out through both of those. Whoops. Start over again. Take this. 
pull out through both, come up, put that over, and pull through. Then when you get through, pull it out. You might have two or three on here, but that's because you grabbed something else. So there it is. So we we'll just grab one band and pull through there. And then tie it tie it off. See I'm just back practically practically going around and around the circle. We'll go over to this next one. Uh my next one is gonna come up here. And what we do is grab the bottom of this one and grab another one. You're going to do it three times, okay? We're going to double it and we're going to grab two strands at a time. You get these two bands together, put it all through here, come up. Whoops. Make sure you get all of them. I messed up a little. Hang on. Just, you just need to pull it through, pull out, pull it through here. So basically, somehow I pull it through here. So from here, we don't need to add any more band. Okay? So. No, get all this. So I'm going to go back through the hole. Anywhere in the middle. Maybe you don't have to just put it where this magic ring is. Just go as, go as close as you can in the middle. Okay? Now we've been grabbing two a lot here. So we have one, two, three more to go. So we're just going to grab one of these. Just one time on the bottom, like that. Get two bands for extra support. And pull through here like that. Come out and pull down. And then pull out and then go through here like that. Okay. And now you do it again. Look at the top of your carrot. See where you can poke a hole anywhere in the middle. So I'm just putting it anywhere in the middle. Come up out there. And I grab this one. And I grab the one that we started from. The last stop. The one that we started from. I'm grabbing that there too. Okay. So it's basically one time, and then you do it three times, and then two of them. You just have to follow along. You have to, if you have to start over, rewind the film. <laughs> Take two more of this band, pull out through, pull out through these two. Come out, come out to the, to the back. Now, the carrot is done. The carrot top is done. See how it's standing up? Okay. Now, instead of going through here, what you're going to do is just go ahead and grab two more orange bands. And pull out through both of that. Come up and tie that down real tight. And then what you do, find a very tight stitch, two or three of them, however many you want. Take this and pull through that one here so it'll be a nice fit. So now we have it. that the carrot, but if you see, see, you'll see some of the carrot stalk, that's what, you know, 
this one right here, a little bit of a mess up because I didn't go at the very bottom. See, this is what happens when you don't get to the bottom of the, sh uh, of the carrot top. So make sure you go to the bottom. By the time, I can fix that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fix it now. Don't worry about the rest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this. I'm going to pull this down a little. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to get this part of this orange thing here. I'm going to try something. Um. I'm not sure if it's going to work. But if you see a lot of pieces like that, maybe you could be able to pull it down more, further down. So, like this. Put it on here. Put it through here. Come out to the top. Whoop. I got a rubber band in there. Put this back. That didn't help. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. Um, that's not what it should look like. I might redo this later, but this is that is the way you should do it. Make sure you take the bottom, bottom part. I didn't know I went way up there. I didn't know. Oh boy, I messed up on my side. But like I said, just make sure you take the bottom row. But if you don't, it'll start showing up here at the top. I do not know how my band got in the cloth wind here. But don't mind it. Ignore it. Just make sure you take the bottom ones only. Okay? Don't follow my footstep on that one. Now, we're going to go ahead and stuff it with the stuffing. That was a very long tutorial. And I need to get my bag open. We've got some stuffings here. Stuff it till we get a nice little round ball around his face. Put it up here. Make a make the stuffing come up here too. Up at the top. Okay. It was it stands up, but mine's a boo boo. I don't like that, but I'm gonna fix it later. Somehow I'm gonna fix it. I wish I can fix it now, but it's too late. Cause I wouldn't have to take everything apart. So I got pretty much I got this stuffed up. See? I just get a couple of more stuffing. To make his face round a little, just a little more, not much. Get it all in there. Don't forget to take this out. Okay, so there we have it. Adjust his nose a little. There's a little rabbit. I am so mess. I am so mad at myself. Okay. Break time. Okay. I had to take a break. And look, this is what happened. This is what I was doing. I was fixing it. See? This is what it should look like when you're done. Just have a little carrot. You know. Just like a carrot would be. A little top of a carrot. See, I have it standing up. I had to be stuff it. I redid it a little. So... Now I'm a little happy than what it looked like before. So now there's this rubber band that was wrapped around the top to hold it in. Now, we have to make sure that all the stalks are up against each other, okay? So I had grabbed this band here, 
and grab some of these. I've already did it on some of the, before, but I had grabbed a couple of these, just a few, not all of them. You can go down below if you want, depending how you want them to dangle. But I did mine close to, almost close to the middle. I say one, two, three, four, up on the fifth one. I'll do the same going maybe I'll skip one, two, and I'll go to the next one. Okay. And that's on one stalk. And I'll take this because this one is hooked onto this. So I put it through here. And I put the band. It's the band that I wrapped around. So I don't know if y'all did or not or y'all have already fixed it on your own way or however you want. Oops, I lost my band. Get back over here. And I put it out like this a little. Then I didn't have any more rubber bands, green rubber bands. I couldn't find one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it through here. Basically. And tuck it in under that. And it should hold some of your bands up. It depends on how you want them to dangle. You can pull them out like this. Or whatever. Pull them up. Put a rubber band around them. Get the green band. and I, I can't really show you. So pretty much. I ran out of green bands. I can't show you. How I can put them all. How I put them all together. Because all I did was tie them together. I just loop them all in, all in inside, looped together, and I got another band and I tied it, and I stuck stuck the band inside as much as I could, so you won't see the the remaining of it. But you can see a little piece here that you may need to tuck in. That's some of the bands that I had. See, I have one here and I got one there. Maybe I'll just connect those two. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. But um, mine's all messed up. All my bands are messed up. See, they're falling apart. So I have to redo this one again. But the thing is, I don't have any other bands. I have to use what I have left. See what happened? I took them all apart. So, so now I know that I have to just grab anything from here, working from the inside, not the outside, and pull this in like this, turn around and grab some from the inside, like grab this one. And I kind of grab the next one. Let's see my bands over here. So I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I apologize for the inconvenience. But I put those together and my band just broke. Okay, I wrapped it around. I'm turning off the video because I got a little upset. I um, just went on ahead and wrapped it around on the outside because I can't I can't find my green rubber bands. I don't have none. But I want you to know what I did on some of them where now this is broken. I have nothing left to do but snip a little bit off. Anyway, so you work from the inside and grab each little thing, put a rubber band, loop it into another band, take that little, put it through there, put it through there, work on the inside, pull it all out, and make a little slip knot, tie it, and put it down in the middle. But mine, apparently, my band just broke. 
and I can't find a green one. So I'm sorry to be repeating myself, but I needed to let you know. I'm very sorry that I can't show you anything on this to hold them together. Okay, I'm going on, moving on. Okay, put the make band. We're going to go back with the white bands again. We're going to make three more rows of the white band. And then we're going to be working on the carrot. Okay. So I've already written it down to, to make it easier for both of us. And just shorten my video. Because my video is getting pretty much long. And I probably won't be able to upload it. Since my laptop was broken. I'm having to upload it to a computer. I'm doing my best to make this tutorial in the every way, best way that I can. Okay, so what I wanted to show you on this tutorial that I got going next is that I wrote down, I checked these off because this is what we did already. That's what was last that we did. The next one, you'll be doing one single crochet and the decrease, like the way I showed y'all. And it'll come down to 20. And then after that, you'll make two more rows of 20 single crochet. So you're actually making three more rows. Okay, I'll do the first few of how I do my decrease. So let me just put this over here. <sighs> I just got a little discouraged because my carrot messed up and I had to start over and I had to do it right, you know. So it should come out like this now. Not like the way it was before. Okay. So we're doing one single crochet. One single crochet and a decrease. That's my little decrease right there. Okay, so that's what we're basically doing. I put a little extra band there and do one single crochet. And then over to the next, what I do, I put it in and back in again. Like that, stitching them together. We're making a decrease. All the way out. Ooh, I almost couldn't do it. So I did my decrease. And then we just do a single crochet. Okay, and then we do a, a decrease. Go. Can't see through all those little things. Pull back. Go in. And back in again. Okay. I'm putting that extra band on. To double loop it. Okay, so that's my decrease. <laughs> Push this down a little bit. So you can see what you're doing. So, what you're doing is you're doing a single, a decrease, single, decrease, single, decrease, all the way around. And I'll get back with you. Oh, I'll get back with you after you do your two rows of 30, I mean, 20 single crochet. So, do these two, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in again. And, uh, whoop. We did the, the two single crochet of 20. Okay, that was the last thing if y'all would have done. The three different rows that I told you be in the previous. You would have had those three rows done. Okay, cool. No problem, no. There is 20 on here. I counted. So make sure you have 20. Because our next round is going to be... We're going to make it a little bit bigger. So it matches up to here. See his little neck. You see? 
Well, there it is. Okay. Alrighty, now the thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do two single crochet. Two. One, two. Now we're gonna do a decrease. I mean a increase. We're doing two increase in a row. We're gonna do it double. We one and one and one and one. There's gonna be one single, one single, two of the increase and two of the increase. Just like that. Okay? You see that? Alright. So this time now, there's no more. So we're just gonna be doing it single. Uh, my next one, make sure that it's not this one. Make sure it's not this one here. It's actually this one. Okay, it looks like it because that's when you um, put it together. It's crazy looking, but. So we're doing. Whoops. Put that back. Anyways. Two single crochet. Oh, this is about to break. I put it in the pile. We're going to be doing two single crochet. Here's one. Two. Okay. Next one is an increase. We're going to put it two in one. Okay. One in here and then one more. That makes the increase. And again, we're doing another increase. So we're going to put two in one loop. That's what we're doing here. Alright. Here we go. Two more single crochet. I think I'll do it all the way around with y'all. Okay, so I'm making two more single. It's hard to hold this thing up because of this thing here. Oh, I don't want to damage it too much. Alright. And now I'm on two. I did the two single crochet. Now I'm doing another increase. There's one in that one. And the second one. So that's the increase. And we're going to do that one more time. Make sure you don't grab any of these little things. Make sure you're getting two... Oh, I was about to do something else. Never mind. Alright, so we're making an increase. Putting two in one band. Alright, now the next one's going to be two more single. One. And two. And then what we do, we have an increase. On this next one would be one, and then the second one, like that. All right, and one more. We'll do two singles and two increases. That's what we're doing. We'll put one more in there. And now I'm on my single. Where is just the here we go. Single crochet. Single crochet. Next one. It's an increase. One. And put another one. Just be two. And then again another increase. One, and two. Y'all see what I'm doing? Okay. Whoops. Now we're back up to doing two single crochet. One. Whoops. And two. 
two singles. And the last two is going to be increases. Let me put it here. Do an increase. <laughs> I'm doing another increase. I am trying so hard not to laugh. My sister is just walked into the room. I am doing another increase. She's doing her little freaky tiptoeing, trying to be quiet. There she goes. Now she's going. You going bye bye? You going bye bye? Huh? You're leaving already? No, I'm not leaving. Oh, so how many cups of coffee are you going to drink? She's drinking coffee at 10.30. Alrighty. Bye. Now, I, I love you. If you don't come back in here, I want to let you know I love you. Okay, I love you too. Okay, here we go. Next is, she had to come and pick up her birth certificate. She needed her birth certificate for something. Or for a driver's license? Now they're asking for a birth certificate to get a driver's license? Okay. But she they wanted the real birth certificate. Not the copy one. They wanted the real thing. Oh, she had to reschedule. Alright. Now this row is gonna be a single crochet of thirty. You do that row and we'll get back with you, okay? I hope y'all heard me. We're doing a single crochet, single crochet all the way around. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. I had to fix everything. Everything fell. My arm hit the side where the thing was attached to. It hit it and it made it pop off. But anyway, all right. Now this is basically what we're doing. Okay, I'm just letting y'all know that I'm making a decrease row by row. You could do all your decreases in different ways. You can just go count all the way around like this until you come to the side. And then you can make a decrease and then go all the way around again. You know, just make different areas. We already had a decrease somewhere over here last time with the eight single crochets. Then what you could do is just make decreases this way. So... That's how I did it. Just made a decrease on every, every row had a decrease. Alright, but I will show you my pattern of how I did the other bunny. Okay? And this is it. Okay. Now, this here was a different one. Don't worry about it because I'm going to cover that up. I just need for y'all to do this. I can't do any more. I have to stop. And I, I can't do any more tutorial at this moment. I gotta rest my hand and finish the rest of this later on. So when I finish mine, as you see what this is, when I'm finished, you should be finished on your carrot. And I will get back with you to putting the ears, the, the, the legs, um, the arms, and the tail. The little tail. Okay. So please try to read the read how I wrote it. Number four, the fourth row, would be five single crochet, decrease 22 crochet, and it will leave you 28. But then you got to do a single crochet, okay? Do it all the way around 28, single crochet. Every two rows I do with the decreases, I do a single crochet on the third. Do you, ca uh, do you catch what I'm doing? Okay. So, like I said... Make sure you do a single crochet 28 after you get this one done. Then it goes down to 27. That's 13 single crochet to 13 single crochet. It's 27. I made it even. And again, see that 5? I go back down here and I'll say 5 single crochet decrease and 20. And that's 22. It's down 2. So I separated them. So don't let me confuse you. Just... Go ahead, and then you'll realize how I'm doing the pattern as you go on. Okay, so I'm holding this right here. I'm going to let you 
freeze the screen, do a screenshot, whatever you need to do. All right. And then going on to the next page, I'm giving the rest of the written pattern. Which is this way. And it's row 9 all the way to 24. Now, I hope that you are seeing the pattern. Because I can't see it. Because it's too high up. This is as high as I can go. I can bring it up closer on each row. But that's row 9 all the way to 24. Okay. And I did the 12 single crochet decrease 12 down to 25. 5 single crochet decrease 18 and 24. And then you do a single crochet. Every other two rows with a decrease, you do a single crochet. Here's two more rows like that. And it shows you a single crochet again of 20. And then two more rows again. It goes down to 18, single crochet to 18. For every two, you do a single crochet. I will bring up this part right here close. Where you can see it. Close up. If it's not too uh, blurry. I'll put it down a little bit. So y'all just take a good look and uh, do a screenshot. Like I said, I'm very, very sorry. I can't go through all of it. And all it is is just decreasing every row. You're doing one decrease every row. And we'll go up a little bit to that one. So y'all can get all the a screenshot there too. Whatever y'all want to do, pause it. Okay? So this is basically what you're doing. That whole thing. But we're not finished yet. Okay. I wrote some more pattern. That's what came out to be looking like this that's a little thing there but there's a reason for that you know because we're putting the legs there we're adding the leg this is for the legs you won't see that too much when you add the legs on here okay so that's enough so you see this pattern and then i'm gonna turn the page over and then i realized i started to make it smaller and i had to i had to Rewrite my pattern, so I rewrote it on the back. And this is the rest of them right here. <clears throat> my throat's getting dry. Anyway, I hope you all understand what I'm doing here. And if you need to, uh, if you have any questions, I found a pen. Okay. You can get me through Facebook. And Messenger, my Facebook and Messenger are the same same thing. Okay. In case you don't have me there, it's Janet Lynn Gartney. Okay. See that? Janet Lynn Gartney right there. So that's how you can look me up on Facebook and Mr. if you have any questions. I am also in the group if you haven't heard of it, I'm sure most of it, most of y'all have. But in this group, I am in this group right here. I'm not sure how to spell it. Lumen Lumigurmi I'm not sure if I spelled it. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it. But I'm in this group. I'm sure you guys can spell it. If I spelled it wrong, please don't laugh. But if you want to laugh, you go ahead. But here it is. It's Lumi Groomy. It's the group that I'm in. Okay. And the, the um, I mean, her name is Kate. Oops. Kate. Let's go. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Kate. Uh, skulls. 
I believe that's how you spell her name. She's the immense there for Lumen Gourmet. And my name is Janet Lynn Courtney through Facebook and Messenger. I'll see you back when you are all done with this. Okay? And we'll put the lace and everything back on there. See you soon. Have fun. Okay, so we done with that. With the 30 single crochet on this row. Now I went on ahead and wrote down what we done already. Okay, just to make sure y'all probably understand my... If you can understand me or whatever, but I might as well write it down. So far that we did this in row one, two single crochet, increase, increase, which is 30. And then this, after that, it will just be 30 single crochets. Now, right now, we're going to do 20 single crochet, a decrease, and 8 single crochet. I will show you the decrease. You'll probably need about 650 orange band. It's about that many. Okay. All right. Here we go. Put this over here. We're going to do 20 single crochet. The thing is, it's because when we do all the, when we do all the decreases, we wanted to do it in the back. We really don't want to do too many decreases in the front because it might show a lot of the little things. Sometimes I'm, I'm not good. I'm not so good at it myself. Can never figure which way to do it. But what we're going to do is 20, 20 single crochet, decrease, and then 8. So, we won. Oh, already messed up on the first one. Make sure I got it on the right one. Yeah, here we go. I think I got it. All right, there's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, <laughs> six, seven. Eight, nine, a long way around, nine, ten, ten, eleven. Now I want to show you how we're doing this. You see we're at the front. I don't want to make any decreases on the front. 11, so I'm going all the way around to the back as much as possible, okay, this is 12, uh, I just estimated where I wanted to put it, but I'm going to tell y'all something when I get through here, to let y'all know what, what I'm doing, okay, 13, 14, Fifteen. We're counting down. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four. We're going all the way down to make the carrot to a, to a, you know, to an end like a cone. Okay. Uh, I don't know what number I was on this thing. I don't feel like counting back. So. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, decrease. So my decrease is going to be right there. 
So I have another one, two, three to go. Okay, I lost count. I am so very tired. It's been a very long tutorial. And my hand is... My hands start bothering me. It hurts. But I'm just going to keep on. Okay, so I got three more to go here. To make my 20. Oh, that's a red one. Okay, so this is 20. I know that. Alright, now I do my decreases. The same way that I've been doing all of them. I just go in. Get these two degrees. I just come in like that. And I go under again. I don't pull too hard. I just take my time to pull down just a little bit. Work your way throughout both of them. And then pull through. And it comes out to a, be a pretty good, uh, I think that's the way I do it. So, anyway, now we just do the next one, eight single crochet. What it is, what I'm doing, each row is a decrease. No matter what, each row that you do is going to be a decrease. You can make the carrot as long as you want. You can have a really long carrot. Okay. So. Just watch out how far you go down. I did it. The way I made my pattern. I did it that way. Because I have to add the legs on the end. And uh, you can't really do it right on the point. On the very point part. Uh, it didn't look right. <laughs> I had to take some of it off <laughs> to make it better. It would have looked like a uh, a boy rabbit. Okay, let me just put it that way. It was too long and a peak, you know. So I don't want to go all the way down to the end of a carrot and put the foot on. I mean, the feet, the two legs. <laughs> it really didn't look right. Okay, so that's that round. Okay. This is my, what I'm talking about. I made it this long. Okay. I mean, it's like, this is my thing. But the reason why it looks like this, <laughs> it looks like this because I put the feet on there. And the feet covers this up. You see? So I needed some more room down here to put the legs out like this. See? When you're done with it, it would look like this. See? And the little triangle on the, on the back. See? So you wouldn't want, you know... Oops! Whoa! I had a little accident. I got to pause. Okie doke! Look, we are back. And you guys have just done the carrot. Okay? Now, in the video, I'm going to show you... I cannot show you how to put the ear. I am so terribly sorry. I feel like crying right now, but... Um... I've done this five times. I've already ruined. I've already ruined this. Uh, I pulled the band. I did everything I can. I did it five times to remember. I cannot remember. It's been two years that I have not um, been able to finish my rabbit. And I cannot remember how I got it on. Okay. I'm, I, can't, I can't show you all how to do the ear. But let me just show you. Maybe you can figure it out. I tried figuring it out. I made the ears stand up. You see? I made it sturdy. You know? And every time I did it, 
the ears just flopped over and it didn't stay up. And I don't know how I sewed it on there. But you see, it looks like this on the back. See how that looks? Like like this and like that. Over and over and over. And then I kind of went in the front and did the same thing, but you can't see it. I went through here, uh, tied it. Uh, if y'all could just see it, I don't know. But I, I, I just... I don't know how I did this. See how I put it into one another, like sewing the ear. Um, I might be doing it wrong. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're back. Now we did the carrot, all the the whole thing on the carrot. See. And it leaves a little piece there for this, for a reason for that. Alright, now we're going to detach the ear. Now, I only did one. I didn't make another ear for me. Because it was just too much involved with my, my hand. Okay, it's just the problem with with this. I can't do a whole lot, a lot of tutorials at one time. But, uh, see, it's really easy. Because um, what you do, you look at the the eyes and to the back of the head, kind of detect where the middle is, the thinner, you know, and you put it here, and then the other ear, you'll be putting it over here, okay? So this base, the bottom part of this base of the ear, okay, we're going to put it in here. And then we're going to have to sew somewhere around here. You can't really see it through all the fuzz. But I'll, I'll do my best to show y'all. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard, just you know, with all this little fuzzy fuzzy in the way. But you have to do it along the edge. See? You're, you're going to be sewing the edge of this onto here to hold the ear up. See? This part right here in the bottom. Right here. It's going right there. But we're going to lean it up. It's going to go there. And then we're going to lean it upward a little. Upward just a little. So we can sew it onto the back. Onto the 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 hat. When we bring it up a little to hold the ear in place. Okay. So I'm going to try to do this side here. But I don't have the other ear now. Okay. Because it was going to be too much to do. And I'm just going to do an arm on one side. Just going to do the arm. Y'all can do the arm over here. But I will show you the two feet on down here. Because I have to show you how to, you know, use that part. And put it down like that. Then, of course, I'll show you how to do the little bunny, the little tail. Okay? So, um, I'm sorry about not showing you both sides with the ear and the arm. It's just too much uh, stitching in one time. I have to baby this hand, you know. I, I have to. I have no choice. Okay, so it hurts a lot. Alright, so I'm taking this here. What we did. I'm taking this off on here. Take this uh, thing off. Just like that. Okay. Now we have it this way. So, anyways, we're going to put it right along here, you know, where your ear is going to be. You know, it's right in the center of how you could use your eye adjustment, you know, from the eye to the back of the head. Put it in the middle. Okay, that's how I did it. From here to there. I can't show you how many I did because it's too much, uh, little fuzz, little, you know, curly. Okay, so I'm just going to do the first, the side, this, this one ear, if this bunny rabbit stays still. All right, now I know that this is my middle. I put it right there so I know that's my middle. Okay, so I just kind of like measure from this end to right here, you know, 
see how this is measured all the way across to here to there. So I'm just taking one of these. I'm just taking one of these down here. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to get this band. I put in one on the orange. Oh, that's all right if you got that. But anyway, to hold it more in, in place. And I lost it. All right. One more time. Let's just stick it down. If you want to get part of the orange, okay? Stick it down. And just, we just need to grab one of these. All right? So, there's three of these things here. So, we're going to use... So, what we're going to do, this thing is too short. I can't begin to show you. But you keep these two back. Okay? Because we're not going to go through all of them. We're going to do one at a time. But, it's over here. So, I got to start over here. I'm sorry. Take that back. So, I got to start here somewhere. So, I go down here to the bottom. Try to pull up one of these little uh, stitch down there. And you're going to grab a band. Take this. Go through here. Got to measure it again, okay? Make sure. I'm going to stick it right there. Alright. I stick it to the one hole there. I'm going to pull out all the... It's hard to do it to, to do it for somebody on tutorial. Like I said, I have to go about three down. That's what I'm kind of doing. And I hope my hand's going to be in the way, but it's the only way I can do it. I'm messing up too much. So I'm getting all of this here, all these three little things. I'm going to pull through. This is what I'm doing. I'm pulling through. I don't know if you saw me or not, but then I put it back on the hook, and then I go like that. You still should have two more over here. You don't want to go all the way through. And then you go up one more. Just go up, because you have to go up with this. So, we're going up on the ear. So, we take this ear, hold it down. Hold it down like that. That way, you could go in here. Pull up another uh, thing. Okay. And we're going to tie it together right here. We're going to pull through. Leave one on here. Leave this one on the back. And we're going to pull through all of that. That left on the hook. Like that. Pull this up and then take this. And then just pull out one. Okay. We're just like mending it, stitching it together. And then I'm going up to the next part of the ear. Down on the base of this. Pull up on there. There. See? Pull up right through there. I'll take this band and I'll go ahead and pull it all the way out on, on that. And go ahead and tie that. But we're not done. I'm going to use this. Okay. So we got the ear on here. We got the ear on there. And what we're going to do. Turn it around. You have this on the back. And this is the side of the ear. See. It's all to the side. Just like that. And we're going to lay it down on here. You see. So. The base of it, it's going to go down here, what, what you finish. And the rest of the ear is going to lay on here like this. Okay, so we can make it come out like that. So, this is basically sewing. There's nothing where I can show you how, but what I do is I grab each little orange band like about five times. Five rows up, going up. To make sure that it lays down onto the ear. And make sure it's straight how you want it. Okay? Like that. So, 
basically all I done was I just grabbed one of this, see, on the back of the ear where where you had it even like that. On this part down here on the bottom, I'm gonna go through. See? I'm just gonna bend and pull all the way through. And take this and take that. Like that. I'll do it again. Now we're going to the next row up. I'm gonna put that little thing here. And then I'm taking a part of this ear on the side. Somewhere around, just very. Make sure you're going to get this pink part. Take that off. You want to go all around the ear, you know, along the side. So you take this. Pull up, and then you want to pull all the way through. You pull it all the way through. Put that up there, and then hook that up. Again, I grab one of these little orange down here, and I figure out where I want to put it on the next row up. I'm going to put it like around, like right here. I'll put it on the side. See? Make sure you don't grab the pink part. But basically, we're just tying the ear down to the hat. Okay, and we put through this all the way out, and then make this. Now you see it's not moving too much, but once we get to the top, it'll hold everything down for you. You get it here, just to be the last one at least, and you just come up here and grab one of these. You know, the next one up. <coughs> Excuse me. Talking too much makes my mouth dry. And I'm having to pull all the way through. Like that. And lost it. Okay, just repeating that back. I'm taking my last little orange. It's almost close to the... You know, stitch around here. I believe that's my last one. I'll find out. Okay, so we want to go to the next one up. Lay it down flat. Lay it down on top of the ear. That way you know how far you want to go up. See, I'm going to go right there. I'm going to go pull it all the way through out. Like that. And let go. Now I'm going to look and see if it stays up. Yep. It stays up. See? It holds it all up for you. So now you're sat if you're satisfied with how your ear looks, then you just take this, grab along somewhere, somewhere in the back, right here. You get another band. And come all the way out like that so we can tie it. <coughs> Pull tight. And then you pull the remainder down here below somewhere to hide the, uh, the back, the, oh, it's stuck. Uh, keep pushing down to hide the band. Now, we have the ear. See? So, basically, that's how you do it. I can't take it all apart to redo it, but... That's the same way you're going to do it with the other ear. You're going to sew the base of the ear, the base part of the ear, to the head. Okay? And then you're going to lay the, the rest of the ear, you know, that goes up. You just want to put it to the side. And then just grab an orange. You've got five rows, at least. You know, on the orange part, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you just bring it back and just tie it and hide the, the rest of the uh, band, uh, rubber band. So, that's basically how you do it. I hope that y'all understand this tutorial. 
Um, very sorry, I can't do the other ear, but it's the same way. Okay? Now, now we're going to do the arm. Okay? So, what we're going to do is take this and take this off. Just like that. Okay. Now, we're going to do it with the ear is that. See? Okay, I'm going to put my arm right around here. That's where I'm going to put my arm. Just measure it down from where his ears at to where his arm can be. Okay, you can just look at it, see how you want it. Looks like that. Okay. So what we do is we line up, put these two, these two here, like this. Keep it away from there so we don't pull through it. All right. Okay. So. We know that we are going to put his arm right there. So we line this first one on the hook. We're going to line it from the neck. And then from the neck to part of the carrot. Alright, see that? I lined it up from the side of the neck where I'm going to put it. And on... To a part of the carrot, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna get this band. It's gonna be hard. All I'm doing is I'm gonna pull it all the way through, little at a time. Pull all the way through here. Go on to the next. Can't show you, but I hope y'all know what I'm doing. All I'm basically is just taking this. All the way out to where this was. Don't do these two. Leave that back. And then you take this. And then you pull through. See? Now we got that covered. For the arm. Okay? So just keep those two there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where is it? Here it is. Sorry about that. Now we're going to go flip this up. You can see how the, the the bands are. See? And you just get one. Again. Pull this to the side. Go here. And get part of the carrot as well. You want to take part of the neck. I'm sorry. Not there. The neck, the neck is up here. Take part of the neck. And then part of the carrot, like that. Okay. So we've got to work it from this side so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, take this band. Just hold on to this. Pull through. Pull through the neck. Go all the way out till you get one left. Oh, oh. Lord, I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> okay, here we go. I'm going to grab his neck. I get frustrated. <laughs> get this band. Wrong one. Okay. I'm sure y'all get the picture of what I'm doing. Get this band. Pull all the way through, all the way out. Grab this one here. Like that. Keep this one back. Take this and grab through. Tie it. You know what I mean. Alright. See, so far we got the arms in. Okay, so now we just grab part of his neck again. Grab his neck. And part of the carrot like that. Take this here. Pull all the way through. I'm trying to see which one it is. I've got to do it again. Alright, it's right there from the neck to that. <laughs> uh, I got this band. 
I'm just going to keep going because uh, I'm sure that you guys know what I'm doing. Okay. So I got to go through the neck. Go through the carrot. And I want to pull all the way out. Okay, guys. Please bear with me. But you know what I'm doing. I'm messing up. It won't budge with me. Anyways, I come up and I finish. I got it. I come up and I take this. And I go through both of those. Just like that. I didn't grab his hand. Oh, I didn't grab his arm. I meant to grab the arm. Take this. Grab the arm like this. Go to the neck. That's what I didn't do. I forgot to go through the arm. Take a part of the neck. Take part of the hand on the end of the arm. And on the end of the carrot. And pull all the way out. On all the way through the arm. I may be doing a terrible job. I'm so sorry. I cannot get this right. But I forgot to grab the arm. The, the piece of the arm from the neck. And part of the arm and the body. But I'm at the end. So just grab the end. You know from the neck. And then grab the piece from the arm. Of the piece and part of the carrot. Okay. And pull out like this. So the arm should look like that. I forgot to grab the arm. Okay. So don't forget. Then underneath here. When I get through. When I get with that. Underneath here somewhere. Around the neck, probably. Whichever you want to put it. it you're just going to hide it. Hide the rest of the arm. Um. So I just got part of the neck. Okay. And I'm going to tie it off. Like that. Tie it real tight. So it won't come off. And then just stick it behind the head, you know, to hide it there. So, there you have it with the arm. Just, um, like I said, put it through the neck, through the arm, and then the carrot. Whew, okay, so, so much for that. I forgot to put the arm. Oh, my God. All right, let me just get to the feet. I still haven't figured out how to do the smile. Okay, I do not remember. Um, I think we're supposed to do the smile before you stuff the head. I'm sorry about that. But if you can fix the smile on the outside, congratulations. Okay, I really do congratulate y'all if y'all can figure that out. Because I tried figuring it out and it didn't work. As much as I know how to do all this stuff, I... Could not get the um, smile from the outside. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the feet. Okay. So the feet is the same way that we're doing with the arm. The same way. Grab it from the... From the feet and then grab it to the arm. To the... Not the arm, but anyway. So, basically... You see how this looks? One, two, three. I have it where you go one, two, and three. Same thing. You use the same one. One, two, and three. Right along there. Okay. So what I'm doing is taking this third one up, which will be right about there. Right around. Let's see. One, two. I say right there. Oh, not going. Let me figure this out. There. There. That's, I finally found it. Pull this here. See? So what we're going to do is just grab a band. From here. Pull through.
and pull through this string, but wait a minute. Take that back. Let's just pull all the all these through here. Sorry. Just just pull all the way over there out. Okay? Because you have to grab the foot. So we pulled it all the way through, okay? We grab the foot area. You can see you can see it. Kinda like all along along right there. So I'm just gonna put it through one of the little holes. Put it through the top like I had it. Right there. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a band. And I'm just gonna pull all the way out. All the way out from the foot. Through that band there. Take this and pull out outward. Okay. So now what we're doing, turn it to the side. What we're doing is go to the next hole. The next hole down. See? And then you follow along where that was. You bring that up. See that? Just get a band. And pull all the way out. Like that. And put that up. Okay, same thing. We're going down to the bottom of the feet. Get it at the very end here. At the very end of it. And hit at the end of this thing here. Like that. Okay. Grab a band. Pull all the way out. Take this. Okay. Now... We got this here. Um, we'll go ahead and take this band and go ahead and put it back behind here and make a little make tie it, okay? And then we we'll just hide the rest of it down here and tie the carrot somewhere. I'm just hiding it into the carrot. I'm just hiding the rest of it to the carrot. Okay, so that's the foot. All right. Bend it up to where you want it. Okay. Now, um, we're going to get this other foot and do the same thing. Oh, I forgot to put this. Sorry. So, when you take it off, just put it all the way out, okay? There's no need to do anything with that. So... Again, we're going to be working with the foot. We're going to go grab. We're going to not grab. We're going to find the hole at the end. Right there. The very top row. See? But if this is the edge, you want to put it there. And then you just find out. The same way as I was telling you all about that, it's the same way this way as well. It's a triangle. So you just find your little hole here. As close as you can, like one, two, and three. It'll be the third one across. Okay? So I get a band. I'm going to pull all the way out. Like that. Okay, and then put that through. Again. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab it too bulky. Alright. Now, we're going to be putting it to the second hole. See? To the second hole right there. And then you put it down to the next one. You'll see the angle. You'll see where you're going. Okay? Trust me. It's really hard to do it on here, but I'm trying my best. Just pull all the way out. Like that. Okay? And now I'm going to grab the end. There's a little end to it. You'll see it. 
just get right on the end there and put it close to the end of this one. See? There's more to it. We have to finish it. Take this. Pull all the way out like that. And then put that out. Now, we're going to sew these together. We're going to put these together. Okay, so we put, see how this is coming out on the bottom? I don't want that to show, see? So I kind of tuck it under a little. I'm going to put it through here. Put it to the, um, one of the little holes on the sides, the very first one you see. And you put it to that one on the side, see? I just put the edge of the, the feet up there. That's what I did. This is what makes this video so um, so hard. It's because of all the curl. And that's what makes it harder to show everything I'm doing. But I'm hoping that y'all understand it. So I'm pulling all the way out through the whole thing. Bring this up like that. Now I'm just stitching them together. See, see that? I'm just stitching them together. So one more time, just going to stick it to one of these here. A little hole there. Okay. Because I'm just putting them together. I'm going to take this band. Pull it all the way out. Like this. And then I get another band. Do this. Tie it. Pull this to the back. And then just hide it through the feet or whichever. And hide it through the band. So, that takes care of everything here. You might see one over here. Put that in the back. Okay. So, that takes care of the feet. Just like that. How to have the feet. Okay, and the arm and the ear. So now the little tail in the back. See it leaves a oof, I got a little white thing coming out of there. Okay. Now see it leaves a little little a little little booty, a little butt. Okay, anyway. So you could put the tail like right around there on the bottom. Or up here. It depends where you want to put the tail at. Put the tail. This time I'm going to put the tail down here. Okay. So I'm going to put it down here. Not up here. My other one's up here. But I'm going to put it down here. I kind of like it there. Okay. So I just have one of the. It's really easy to put the tail on. Okay. What you're doing is you're just going to grab. Like right around here. Go up a little bit. And grab two right in the middle. Kind of make it in the middle where you can grab two up. See? And you take this here. Pull all the way through. Just like that. Alright? Now, you just get a little piece, a couple of pieces in the back. You know, just a couple of little um, stitches here. Just get two little ones here down here somewhere. Okay? See, and I just got a band, and all I did was just pull out through all of those things that I put in, pull that out, take this, like that, and we're going to tie it, just like that, just one up, put it all the way down, see it's kind of where I want the bunny. Now, if the, if the tail's laying down too much, you can grab another little piece right here down the bottom, which I'm going to do. If the tail's dangling down too much, well, we'll just grab it through here again. Uh, 
and take this, go through that, take this again, and just this time just tie it like that. Okay, and you can put this around the bunny, the rest of the band, put it around the bunny. There's another one down here somewhere that I had. Oh, I don't know where it is, but anyway, so there's his little tail. He got his little tail on. Just wrap the string around it. That's all you need to do. Okay. So now we have this rabbit. See? Okay, now we're not done it yet. We're almost done. For those that want to hang it, like I did, hang it. This here is the count of 66 uh, strand. That's how long I made it. But anyway, you make it as long as you want. You can hang it or you could just keep the bunny just like that if you want. But with this, all it is, all I'm doing is, for example, I'll just get a couple of colors for now. Okay. And all I did was... <coughs> 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 Okay, did this here. I did this to start off. All right. I can put two white and two pink, or white and pink and white and pink. So what I did is I went, I double it like that. See, put it through here, just like that. See, and I got a white for the next color. Whatever color you want to make it, just double loop it. Okay, and pull through. And just make yourself a chain. And just keep on going. My next one is pink. Okay. Pink. I'm not going to do all of it, but I just want to give you an idea of how... I am, uh, that I did the chain. Now I, I went all the way to as far as I wanted, how long I wanted to be. Okay. Then what I do is I had put it behind the ear. I had stitched it on here. I'm sure most of you all can do that. All you do is stitch it on together and tie it, put it behind the ear. That's where I put it. I put it behind the ear like that. See? And there you have it, you know, you balance it. You might have to put it, me, I had to put it over here and one a little bit higher for some reason for me to balance the, uh, the rabbit to make sure it's not crooked. So, that's it. This is the end of the tutorial. And happy Easter. I'm going to get your A. So you better hide them. All right. See you there. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. And I uh, hope I get to do some more next time. Bye-bye. And now, as you see, I laid out the pink and white band. The next last thing is to do, if you want, it's an optional. But how I made these little bands. I put them in different colors and everything. It's real simple. And I put it on behind the ear. I tied it in the back of the ear. So it's this long chain that I made. It's about 65 is what I wrote, um, put on. About 65 chain. Okay. So how you do it is really easy. It's just making a chain. I use two rubber bands, put it on like that, and did it with different colors. Okay. And right now I'm just showing you two. You can use pink and white. And put it back up like whoops. I didn't go through both. How can you mess up on a chain? <laughs> just do this. And then 
the next one. And then I'll just grab two more. I'm not going to do all, all of it. But just to give you an idea of how I've done the chain. I just grab two bands and pull through all the way through. Just like that. See? So, pretty simple. Pretty basic. You're just using two bands of each color that you use. And you just link it all the way up however long you want it to be. And then you just tie the end behind the ear and that'll be it okay well I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon bye bye